Hello and welcome. We are at the ruins of what was once a beautiful home. This is Irwood Hall, and this is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. No way, no way, that's the ram over here. Something just growled. Something just seriously touched my hand. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. This has got a completely different feel. The hall was built in the 1840s and stood for a mere 100 years before being demolished by the local council in 1934. During its short time, it was home to the Grimshaws, a successful Manchester merchants family, and it hosted lavish parties with distinguished guests and even royalty but still, it had its fair share of tragedy. As you can see, there is little left of this hall except for a few stones, but the misplaced spirits still haunt this building today. And it's now our turn to add to the history of this magnificent location. The deaths of various Grimshaw family members would have happened here, as well as the people that work for them. There are three reported spirits that haunt here, all female. A woman dressed in black, a maid, and a lady who's described as the teacher. Now a popular tourist attraction, the hall has many visitors who come perhaps to capture a glimpse of a time long past. But there's a certain stillness here, an atmosphere of calm where you can feel yourself stepping back into the past. So we've just arrived at uh, Great Valley. Yep. And we're on our way to the ruins to find out and see what they're like. We're gonna do some shots before we uh, prepare and do the show later. Looking forward to it, Uncle. Yes, and hopefully we won't have a heart attack by the time we get up there. Because it is literally a big walk. Mm -hmm. Look, you can see around here, look. We've been walking for miles and we thought we better switch this on. Otherwise we'll have no footage to show you. And if we don't return, at least somebody can find this phone and uh, you know what happened when you're out here. Yeah, don't sell the phone before you've got the footage off it. Okay, so when we get there, we'll see you soon. And hopefully tonight, when we do our investigation, it's going to be fantastic. Now let's hear from our psychic medium in Oklahoma, Para, to find out what she senses could be haunting her wood hall. The first thing I picked up from Irwood Hall was the feeling of sadness and the feeling of misplacement. There's stuff that's supposed to be here or things that are supposed to be here that are not. Um, the one spirit that did come forward to me and did speak with me was the spirit of a woman. She told me she had been widowed during her life and she, now that she's finally dead, she's been looking to join her husband, but he is not here. Um, she had actually been standing at a grave. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be his, but his body is not located in the little cemetery that's there, which um, also the cemetery that's there, that's all family. That's a family cemetery. Every single person in that cemetery is related in one way, shape or form, or people that worked in this house. Um, the house, to me, felt strange. The foundations, I should say. The foundations of the house felt strange because I didn't feel like this house was destroyed. I felt like it was taken. It was taken brick by brick, stone by stone, to a different location. And this is all that's left, is, is the foundation, and there's nothing else. Um, 
there are at least three or four other spirits. One energy was so weak, I couldn't pick it up. I don't know if it's because of the distance it was from, from me, um, but it seemed to be off like in the woods a little bit. And um, they didn't really want to be bothered. The spirits here didn't really want to talk to me. They are very sad and lonely and they're looking for their house. They're just, it's been misplaced, it's been taken and they're very, very, very lonely about it. And the cemetery, I feel like the cemetery has been altered a tad, uh, either been restored, the tombstones fixed or repaired or moved a little bit because I feel like some of the bodies that were supposed to be in the cemetery are not. And that's all I got from Irwood Hall. So our breath, we're up this hill, look, right behind, climbed all the way up there. And we're trying to find the cemetery. Yes, I think so we're gonna need one at this rate. We found the cottage, it's down there with the ruins or the remains of the cottage. Yeah. Uh, but at this moment in time, we're yet to find the elusive cemetery. We'll find it and then we'll get our shots and then we'll get ready to start our investigation for tonight. Yeah, if we live that long. If we live that long. It's starting to look more like Blair Witch, this. Yeah, <laughs> we'll check in soon. Hopefully. Paul, Irwood Hall, we're at the cemetery now. We've come up here to try and avoid the gnats. There's a hell of a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. So if we came up high to do our intros, <clears throat> our, our discussion, we'd get rid of them, but we haven't, we've not escaped them. No. But the ruins, which we're going to investigate when it gets darker tonight, they are amazing. Yeah. And the reports of the spiritual female spirits are here. Yeah. I can't believe them. Yeah, we've, we've got three that have been reported. Uh, Lady in Black, which is quite ominous. Uh, a maid and somebody that's referred to as the teacher. Um, so lots of people have reported seeing them, uh, not just down at the, the ruins of the old hall, but up here as well. Uh, and one of these is supposed to belong to the maid, I think it is, or no, sorry, the teacher. I love doing outdoor locations. Mm. I hate these flies that come out, <laughs> but I love doing the locations when they're outdoors because they're beautiful. Yes. It's fresh, it's different. Yeah. And I don't think many people do these outdoor locations. So it's nice to experience it. And you know what? I can't wait to see if we get some activity. What would be great though tonight, Paul, is if the meters go. Yes, well, there's, there's nothing here to affect them. Um, there's no power lines. We're, we're in the middle of the Peak District. It's, <coughs> there's nothing. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> one. <coughs> swallowed one that time. You swallowed one, yeah. you're okay. There is nothing to affect them. So if something does happen, then you know what? I can only believe it's going to be paranormal. There's no, like you say, there's no power lines here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to debunk. Um, yeah. <coughs> the, the meter side of things, anything that's caught on the video, we're going to have to have a, a close look at because of the gnats and everything that we've got, you know. But uh, it'd be nice to capture uh, a silhouette, a shadow, a mist, you know, in the form of a human. So it will be, be good. Really good. Well, should we get off and um, go and get all our gear out of the car? Yes. And get ready for the investigation. Yeah, we've got another trek, haven't we? <laughs> we have. But at least we can escape these gnats. <laughs> yes, we're all on night time. They'll all go to bed. Come on, let's okay. do it. Paul. Yes. <laughs> it's time to start uh, investigation yeah. here. I'm not looking forward to this. No, why? Because you're all the way up that hill. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be down here. Yeah. What if something comes over and attacks me? Uh, well, let's hope it doesn't. We've got the radios, but apart from that, that's kind of the risk we're going to take tonight. Yeah, it feels now, I mean, it's pitch black, it yeah. feels eerie, it feels like we're not safe. Different atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. completely different, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think you're far more vulnerable now, because apart from this, yeah, you, your eyesight's down to very little. Yeah, it is pitch black, there's no natural light, like we said, there's no electric, so... Yeah, so if anything does happen, yeah. it's paranormal, isn't it? Well, let's hope that that's what it is because I'd be more bothered about it being human and somebody coming up here and, uh, you know, jumping us. 
And hopefully, Paul, we won't get bitten by all these bleeding gnats. Yeah, don't hold your breath on that one. I know. Do you know what? I'll see you later. Good luck, mate. Bye, mate. Hi. So, I am uh, in the ruins. I'm going to show you um, what I've got. There's a still a lot of uh, flies around here. I've changed and got my jacket on because it's getting a bit cold. Um, if you see me itching my head a lot, I'm just trying to battle these little midges away. Um, I've got an IR light on my camera, so I'm going to show you. Um, I'll turn that up in a minute and show you what I've got. In fact, before I do that, I'll show you with the torch what I've got. Here is what we've got. We've got the ruins. So look at this. How amazing is that? Over here on the floor, if I shine a light at it, you can see I've got a um, REM pod. Now, that's one there. Let's talk about the REM pods in a minute. There's a REM pod over here. You can see that now. That's switched on, it's ready. And we've got a REM pod over here. So, hopefully, oh, let's get our torch back on it. It's that pitch black. Hopefully, we could capture something paranormal tonight. If anything does go near the REM pods, what will happen is they will set off. Now, we're outside. We're in the middle of bloody nowhere. There is no electric except for the batteries in this torch. Um, so if they do go off, unless there's some radio chatter going on from an aeroplane which is reaching this floor, which I highly, highly doubt, those um, REM pods going off, if they do go off, will be paranormal. I'm going to be listening out as well for any sounds that I can hear. Um, anybody around or anything like that. I've got a torch in my hand because this floor is very unstable as you can see. If I don't have it on with me, then there's a high probability I'll injure myself, so I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to start calling out in a second, I'm going to adjust this infrared. And let's see if we can uh, get something to interact with us. Okay, so I'm now uh, heading off to where the cemetery is. Where there's some headstones of people that lived here. And the Grimshaw family, I think, was also a, a servant, or I think she was called a teacher. I think there was somebody here that uh, got part of the burial plot and she was something to do with educating the daughters of the Grimshaw family when they were kids so it's absolutely pitch black look at that behind me look at that behind me it's always a worry just in case somebody's gonna walk up behind you and bop you or possess you if you haven't paid your bills repossess you it's always uh, Gets me Blair Witch. Any, any Blair Witch fans out there? Love that film. Did for camping what uh, Jaws did for swimming. But, uh, you know, face your fears and all that. So, nearly there. I'm just going to turn this off because it's a bit hilly and bloody knackered trying to walk and talk. So, catch you at the top. Over down there, I just want to point it out. Where is it on camera? Just over there, where is it? No way, look, 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 look. Okay, that's a bit unusual. I didn't expect that already. That's the REM going off over here. Whoa, okay, that's stopped. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is freaking weird. I'm just gonna have a look and see. There's nobody there. So I'll check that side. If you hear it going off, it's me now. Look, nobody. You can't see a damn thing. Oh, that went off again, but that wasn't me. It's getting bitten by flies again here. Let me just turn the infrared. It's going off again. No way. I'm just going to turn the infrared up so that you can see this in full night vision now. Um, Hold on one second. This can be very complicated. Here we go. So if I turn my torch off now, hopefully, or is it? We've got IR in full IR now. Okay, if you're here and you're with me, 
Thank you, if that was you setting the um, REM pod off over here. Can you do it again? Or we'll walk towards me, I've got REM pods over there. And a REM pod over here. Come over, set them off. Do something, or show yourself to me. If there's a lady here, or if there's any female spirits, show yourself. Make yourself known to me. I'm just listening. And the reason I'm listening is I, f I feel like there's a noise. I'm looking around just to see. I had like a non, you know, uh, natural noise, like a buzzing. Okay, I'm gonna point. Thank you. Are you a female? Is that you then? Did you walk towards my device on the floor? Are you a female? Can you walk towards it again? Are you able to walk towards it for me? Listen. Whoa, okay. Is that me? Potentially, yeah. Oh, right. I am uh, at the graveyard. The headstones, which are just over there. See those? There's a big one somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, you can probably see it better on camera, but there's a few headstones over there. Oh, slightly out of breath because it's a hell of a, a trek up there. So, got the periscope out. I'm going to try some EVP in a few minutes as well, but uh, we'll see what's going on. Is anybody here with me? Ooh. And I just heard a, a whistle. Now, it could have been an owl or something. If I whistle, can you whistle back? Got it again. That doesn't sound like an animal. <whistles> Can't whistle for toffee these days. And again. <clears throat> That's weird. That's weird. I'm just going to radio into. Uh... Paul and see if he's picking anything up. Paul, are you there? Paul, are you there? <clears throat> Hi Sean. Are you hearing anything? Is anything happening at the moment for you? Yeah, I've only just um, started up here but I'm getting some uh, some weird stuff going on. Are you alright? Okay. Stuff is happening here too. Okay, so stuff's happening where Paul is. My face is really white because of the IR lights, but stuff's happening where Paul is. Stuff's happening where we are. So, hopefully, something else will happen. Can you show yourself to me? Show yourself on my camera. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to walk towards where you would have, if you're a female spirit, where you potentially would have walked into your home. Oh! No way! No way, no way, that's the ram over here. Is that you? Do you know I'm coming? You know I'm on my way. Thank you. Can you turn it off? Let's count this down. F Thank you. Thank you so, so much. No way. I'm going to go back over here. 
see if anything will happen over here. Whew, I get this eerie, eerie feeling. And I get in a lot of bites as well. But I <laughs> have these blimmin' gnats. But getting something just touched my hand. Something just seriously touched my hand. And then it wasn't the cable on this, well, this holder, but something touched it, like grabbed it. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get the... Ah! I heard of something get thrown then. Something moved. I didn't expect that over here. Really didn't expect that. I'm going to try uh, some EVP. Paul at the grave site of the family and servants of Irwood Hall. Is there anybody here with me? Can you talk to me? Tell me who you are. My name's Paul. You can see this little orange light. If you say something, I may be able to hear you through this. Can you talk to me, please? Tell me who you are. Were you one of the Grimshaws? Bloody periscope just changed. Periscope just changed colour then for a second and I didn't get it on camera. Look. Tell me your name please. Tell me why you're still here. Give me a sign, anything at all. If you want me to leave, just say something and I'll leave. Was that you? Do not like me walking towards your steps. There's the steps. Somewhere. Oh God. I have to say it's pitch, pitch black. What the hell is that? That's the, that's the equipment. Whew. It's pitch pitch black and I cut. I just heard a noise and it's some type of bird. Oh, I'm scared of my father. It's pitch black. Can someone turn this torch off? I'm, I can't see anything other than this light that's reflecting from the um, camera. Hello? Are you following me? Can you set another one of these ramp pods off? Walk towards me. Did you throw something at me? Oh shit. Something just growled. Something just growled in my ear. Oh, I hope the camera caught that. That that, that was. F oh. I've got to have a look. Let's see if I can see anything. Something just growled in my ear from over there. I was stood by the bench and something. I hope it's caught this, but it sounded like. Ugh. Christ, that, uh, that was a twitchy moment. I hope I've got it on camera. Shine a light. Not too much though from that. Wow. Do you not want me here? Did he just growl to warm me off? I'm going to have to, to do a little bit better than that. Probably not much more though.
Right, watch. Okay. Right, on here I've got this stone I've just found somewhere. There. Right, I'm going to try and throw this over there. Let's see if we can get a spirit to throw it back. And just before I do do that, I just want to show you. I'm stood near this REM pod. This is the one that just went off. No, you know, I'm here, it's not being affected by me. And it went off before. You ready? I'm going to throw this stone. Okay. I've thrown a stone at you, can you throw it back to me? Come on. Take my energy, convert it into your energy, and throw that stone back at me. Hold on a minute. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I don't know if we saw it. I'm trying to keep my eyes over there. You heard that from over there, right? Something was thrown over there. I'm trying to swoop, see if I can see anything. I know I shouldn't be that scared. But when I threw that, I'm here. You gotta remember, Paul's somewhere else. I'm on my own. And these stones are big. I know I asked for it, but I didn't expect it to happen. A little bit warm on my my left side because it heard it in my left ear. Ooh. Oh dear. Did you hear that? I do hope you heard that then. I just heard another noise and I can't tell you. It sounded sort of buzzing. This has got a completely different feel. I know I've said it before when somewhere's dark it takes on a completely different feel but this is now feeling a little bit um, unwelcoming. Not, uh, not feeling quite so brave as I did earlier on, but I can't, uh, I can't stop now. Now I've got my nerves together, let's go over, let's have a look. You ready? Right, let's point the torch and the camera that way. Yeah? I don't know why this is happening. That's me, that's me. Let's go over here. Let's keep my eyes peeled, man. You just don't know if there's anybody out here. But I mean, if they are, they're doing really, really well. Because it's pitch black. I can officially say, there's no one here. Okay, I still feel safe that side. I'm just gonna go back over here, okay? This is mental, an outdoor location. It's not disappointing. It's really not disappointing. I'm just trying to see, you know, because in case of one of these spirit females, like the teacher or the maid or, or the lady in black. She might make an appearance, yeah? Will she do it for me? Ooh. Just gonna have a look. noises and you're expecting it to happen but it's freaking me out big time 
I feel like I'm in a horror movie. It's it's that weird. God, and I keep shining the torch and seeing things, you know, paradilia. It's just weird, man. It's like the energy's shifted around here. I believe this to be active. And I tell you what, some people who come here at night time and spend the night here, they're brave. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for doing what you did. It was amazing. Just show yourself to me. Walk in front of this instrument I have in my hand. What is that? Well, the camera just did a really weird thing. It's got like face recognition on this. And you, you, I don't, well, you're not going to see it on the camera itself through what through what you're going to see. There's a square just appeared on the camera which um, it will do if it recognises, you know, it's trying to make out a face and it just zoomed in for a second, created a box around something where I'm pointing the camera. Now I'm not seeing anything but the camera tried to recognise something. Ball so far. Wow. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yes. And we're getting activity. I mean, we shouldn't be getting anything except for the gnats. Apart right from the gnats, yeah. <laughs> I think we've killed a fair few thousand of those tonight. Yeah. No, th there's there's no reason why the, the REM should be going off. I mean, right now, that's prominently what's going off. Yeah. There's no power cables, there's no pylons. You're getting the occasional plane. But that's it. That's it. So. And they're going off in different places when I'm doing my investigation. It's weird. Yeah. And for me, it verifies that this place is, is haunted. There's something going on, isn't there? Um, yeah. The, the fact that there's reports, we wouldn't be here if there hadn't been some reports anyway. Um, but I mean, we, we seem to be getting some validation um, that there's something here. We're getting a little bit of interaction so far, and I think it's picking up. I don't know if anybody's ever done what we do here. Yeah. So, you know. The fact that we're coming out and reaching out to them, they might not know. We've said this before, how to, how to work with what we've got, but I mean, so far. So good so far. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the activity is only going to increase the feel. I think it's so. pitch black, you know, yeah. we're out from this. If these lights were off, the, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> it, it would, would be, be buggered. Pitch black. <laughs> but, you know, who knows what else we're in store for tonight? Yeah. And I think it'll be a, a fantastic end of the night tonight. Yeah. I feel something good may happen. I think so and I mean it, it, you, you're more on your edge, on your nerves edge because you're outdoors. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> you've not got that safety of a, a wall yeah. to hide up, you know, to go up against and oh. protect your back. Should we escape these gnats and get back on it? Do you think we're going to outrun these? Buddies? I think we can. Come on Paul, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> I am here arriving, whoa, falling as well as arriving at um, a part of the ruins a bit further up this hill. Uh, and this is what used to be the remains of a cottage. As you can see, it's mainly rubble now. It's very, very eerie, especially in this pitch black. And look, look, look at this. That is a slug. There's hundreds of these things all over the place, and the jet black, it's horrible. Um, obviously, because it's a bit wet now. Um, it's been trying to rain parts of the day. I've, um, now, so I'm just gonna adjust this infrared. It's a bit wet. And so because of that, I've decided not to bring out like the uh, rampods or anything, purely because it's going to get damaged. Um, but what I've brought out instead is an EVP recorder. So hopefully, I like something brushed past me then. Hopefully, we can get somebody to communicate with us. Let's do it now. So let's record. Okay, if there's anybody here with me, can you 
speak to me and tell me your name. How old are you? Did you used to live here at this cottage? Yes. Did you used to live here at the cottage? Okay, so I am uh, at another section of the ruins of Irwood Hall. I've got a couple of rems here and I've put another one a little bit further over there. Can't really see it with the light off but we're over there somewhere. And this here I think was an entrance looking at the way the floor is cobbled. And I think this was probably an entrance into the hall itself. So uh, it's absolutely pitch black. Um, if you look up, up there, that's the sky. That's the sky, so it's absolutely pitch black. You'll have to excuse the fact I'm wearing my hat. I'm wearing it because there's still gnats about and I've been eaten alive this evening by the bloody things. I don't know if I've got any blood left to be honest. Is there anybody here with me? Any of the Grimshaw family? Any of the servants that used to work for the Grimshaw family? Like, I didn't hear anything then, right? Now, that does not mean that there, was, um, there wasn't anything there. I'll play that back, and if we hear something in the edit, I'll analyse it and we'll turn it up. I'm just going to call out and I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, let's turn the infrared up so we can get some shot of what's going on here. Is it too bright? No? Great. Okay, is there anybody here? I'm going to put EVP on. Speak to me. Are you here? Can you speak to me? Tell me who you are. Ooh, I saw a flash over here. We would I, maybe we got that on the camera, or maybe we didn't. I definitely saw a flash. Was that you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna to have to play that back. I heard like a wincing. I heard that. When I replayed this clip in the edit, I could clearly hear a wincing noise. Is this the spirit of a lost soul from the cottage? Jesus Christ. That was like a real real spirit voice and it was in my ear unless there was some other explanation that was real okay let's just go over here a bit I'm actually freaking myself out right now I'm just checking stuff out over there I just freaked out with that I don't know what it is I'll point the camera and we'll go and have a look I hate this bit really hate it let's have a look what it is what am I pointing at up oh, one bit, down a bit. What is that? Nothing. Thank God. It actually does look like something. Let's go over and find out. I'm gonna have to point the camera at me for a sec while I go over because it's really dangerous. This floor, look. Can you see that? It's really dangerous. Let's go over. Ah. Oh my god, I know what it is. I've uh, brought the mel meter with me, so we're going to put that on. And uh, at the moment, the temperature is 11.0, 10.9, it's actually dropping, so it's just adjusting. There is no electromagnetic energy being read at the moment. Is there anybody here at all? 
just going to pull the aerial up on it actually because we're going to activate the REM function on it just in case. So I'll put the REM function on just in case anything comes close to me. Is there anybody here at all? My name's Paul. I've been here once before. You had an absolutely magnificent home. And it's so sad that it's been reduced to rubble and left just as a pile of rubble. Grave. It's a grave, it looks like a grave. Some type of grave. Shit. Let's do EVP here. I'm gonna get the EVP recorder out. I'm gonna do an EVP here by the grave. See if it works. Are you here with me? Is anybody able to communicate with me? Speak into the device in my hand and let me know your name. Did you die here? Are you there? I'm gonna play that quickly back. I said yes. When I said, did you die here? He went, yeah. No way. Just giving me the goosebumps. Thank you so much. I'm gonna leave you, if you, this is a gravestone and you died and this is your grave, I'm gonna leave you as a mark of respect here. Thank you so, so much for communicating with me. That was really, really good. I'm just a bit terrified right now, so please don't come near me and scare me. I just want to make it out of here safe. Right. You see, light anomaly wise, you, unless you've got something that's uh, figure like, you know, you're pretty much going to just be catching gnats and what have you. This is why I'm not a, a big fan of some of the pe things that people show me picture wise when they t do outdoor stuff because you get all this natural stuff with the dats and insects and what have you and then uh, you know depending what they're, they're doing what they're taking pictures off sometimes it's uh, moisture oh here we go again thank you thank you so much thank you can you turn it off for me now please step away thank you wow that's good. That's really good. And you see how I wasn't talking to them? I was talking about something else, I was ignoring them. And that, again, you know, you're not paying them attention. That sometimes is uh, what, what happens because they're like, oh no, you're here for me, talk to me, don't ignore me. That's really good. Can you set this one off again? It was amazing what you did with that one before. It'd be really good if you could do it again. Could you please? Maybe not. Is there anything you can do? Paul. An amazing night here <clears throat> at Irwood Hall. Yes. It's been active. It's been a bit unnerving as well at times. It's been like, it's been like a horror movie for me. <laughs> yeah. They've been hiding, trying to, uh, stuff's happened, I've screamed a couple of times purely because I didn't expect stuff to be thrown at me. You had stuff thrown? I have, I've had stuff thrown at me and the REM pods have been going off and That's I heard good. a voice in my ear. Yeah. It's all been a bit too weird for me. Yeah, um, I, I something touched me. Something yeah. 
put, put its hand in my, my lower back, which I wasn't expecting. Um, to actually get physical uh, contact is rare. Yeah. Um, but I've had some REM activity. Uh, I've done a couple of EVP sessions. I've not listened to everything because while I was listening back, stuff's going on. Yeah. You know, so you get interrupted. It's been, you know, I'm, I'm actually a little bit, you know, shaken at the moment because there's been some weird stuff happening. Oh, well, I am too, and as you can tell, I mean, these bloody gnats have been yeah. out all night chewing us to death. Yeah. Please, and they're not orbs. <laughs> yeah. We're not being surrounded by thousands spirits. of them, and there we're is. eating them and everything. And it, do you know what? It's not disappointed. It's for me, it's haunted. Mm. The, there's no explanation for the, the activity on the meters to be going off. Yeah. Like we said earlier. It has to be paranormal. The, the, yeah, I, I can't debunk it, you know, I, I will do where I can. Yeah. Um, we can't say that the meters have been going off because of pylons or anything, there's or nothing the up nets. here. Yeah, yeah or, the, or the nets. Um, so, yeah. you know, I don't know. Um, physically being touched when there's nobody behind me, no. Mm. Something. Paranormal, mate, paranormal. I think so. Well, from all of us at Ghost Dimension Flying Solo, Thank you for watching and good night.